We're going to Tofano. We're up at Adam this morning. It's like 25 past 6 now. It was 6 o'clock when I woke up, so I don't know why it's taken me 25 minutes to get downstairs and put some shoes on my feet. This morning we are going for a bit of a run. If you follow me on Instagram, this will be old news for you. My goal, actually, I don't know if I've spoken about this part on Instagram, but my goal this year is to run a half marathon. And the reason I laugh is because right now, continuously, I don't think I could run much further than like maybe one and a half kilometers. So I've got a bit of work to do. <laughs> I'm aiming for 5Ks at the moment. We're just taking it step by step. So I'm following the, also this is not sponsored. I so wish it was, freaking love kick. I'm following the kick at zero to five kilometer running program. I'm up to week four. So this is my last run of week four. Today I run for six minutes continuously and then walk for two minutes and repeat that four times. So it's a total of 24 minutes of running. But it is a glorious morning. The birds are chirping as you can hear. I need to do a bit of a warm up and then I will get running. <laughs> And we are done. That was not easy. <laughs> but I am now officially halfway through the zero to five kilometer program, which is very exciting. I need to cool down because my muscles are gonna be so sore later on today and probably tomorrow as well. I also got this in the mail the other day. It is, um, well, it's from Lotus Wheel. It's um, designed to fit like in between the two short it's probably a really bad illustration. It is now 7.30, today is Saturday, so no work today. I've just finished like my first week back at work for 2024, and honestly, didn't go too shabby. I had to leave the house at like, probably like quarter past 10, 10.30 to go into the city to run some errands and catch up with a friend. It is time for some breakfast, and lying in bed last night, I was like, oh, what am I gonna have for breakfast tomorrow? And I was like, mm, I kind of feel like poached eggs could be the vibe, and I was inspired by Sarah's Day's cookbook. I've had it sitting on the coffee table, so whenever I sit down to like do anything on the couch, I kind of just pick it up and have a flick through. And she had in here, eggs Benny. So I'm not going to follow this recipe, but she does have a method in here for poaching eggs because I've never poached an egg before in my life. I'm very fussy when it comes to eggs, like scrambled eggs. Absolutely repulsive. She's got like a little section here on like how to cook eggs different ways. I'm going to try and follow her six step poached egg recipe and see how we go. I haven't tried anything out of the cookbook yet. I got it for Christmas and I am a little bit nervous because if you know Sarah's day, you know that she had or still has or whatever, she had, 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 whatever. It's Sunny, the cooking app. And I didn't have the app, I never paid for it, but she had the free recipes up on her website. And so I tried a few of those and one of them was the avocado cabinara. And she's like, oh, this is like our family favorite. The boys love it. And I was like, yeah, heck yeah, let, let me try this. So I made it in the flat. In total, I probably made it like, I definitely made it at least twice. I don't know if I made it a third time. The first time, I was like, this is disgusting, but I was like, use the error, I must have done something wrong. Made it again, and it was like even worse the second time, and I was like, no, that's, that is enough of that. So I was very nervous, but then I also saw that the recipe for the baked tuna mornay in here, I made that when we were flatting, and that was really, really good. Moment of truth is about to take place. Time to put the first, I'm gonna do two eggs. Oh, that didn't work at all. Oh no, maybe it did. Okay, the second one's going on. Please don't judge me in the comments if that is not what it's supposed to look like because I don't know what it's meant to look like. Like, I feel like they're coming together. Like, I feel like you can't judge a job half done, you know? Maybe if you've cooked them before, you are 100% judging me right now. And in that case, good for you. I'm not gonna show you this without tipping it off the plate. Stunning. I ended up doing Vogel's salmon egg on top. I think the egg might be slightly overdone though. Okay, this is gonna be the moment of truth and I hope you guys aren't holding your breath because I certainly am not. Oh no, that is so solid. <laughs> Let's try this one. Oh no, that's even worse. <laughs> you know what? We tried. It's only almost an upwards from here. <laughs> it is not even nine o'clock yet, and when I was sitting down eating my breakfast, it kind of occurred to me today has already been a day of trying new things. For starters, when I woke up this morning, I don't know what it was, but I literally like jumped out of bed. When do I ever do that? <laughs> so that was the first. Second thing was my running, running for six minutes. Never done that before. Fantastic. Trying the new Lotus Wheel back roller thing, that was new. Cooking poached eggs for breakfast, that was new. Just a day of new things and I'm so here for it. I am gonna do my Devo time now. Normally I do this like first thing in the morning when I wake up, but I wanted to get my run in before the sun really came out like it is now because going for a run now would be so hot. I talked about it a bit on Instagram, but 
Last year I read the Bible from front to back because in the back of my Bible it has like a all the days and then what you read each day to get through it in a year. So I followed that for the whole of last year. Got through it, fantastic. And I just don't think that was the most digestible or efficient way of reading it. I have read the Bible from front to back before. I did it in 2021. And that literally, I just read it right from the front all the way to the back in like that order. Both of those ways, don't think they were overly efficient, but I am someone when I start doing something, I don't stop until it's done. So <laughs> I saw it through, but now I am going through like chapter by chapter. So I'm only doing one chapter per day. When I was like okay we're gonna start in genesis like i've been through it in this bible several times and there's no notes there's no notes nothing absolutely nothing there's an app called enduring word which gives like commentary that goes along with the bible it really helps me to understand what's going on learned so so much and i'm really glad that i have done it this way the app not gonna lie it looks like it's optimized for like an iphone 4 so if you click commentary down the bottom you can like select up the top the book and the chapter and stuff i know i said that i was supposed to be going to the beach with my friend but she just texts me and she has heat stroke. I still have to go into the city to run some errands um, and I could just go and do them and come back but I'd rather like I want to go to the beach so I'm going to see if either Morgan or Sage wants to come with me or both. If they both want to come that's cool too. Same day, except now it's 20 to 3 and I've just got back from the city. I didn't take my camera with me because I don't want to leave it in my car and I also don't want to get sand in it, but went and ran my errands, went to the beach, ended up meeting Morgan and Imogen there. I was doing my summer bucket list for a long time to go for a swim at Mission Bay and it was so underwhelming. Mission Bay has nothing on the current metal beaches. This is probably quite disgusting, but as you guys know, I have psoriasis. You can't visibly see it on me because at the moment it's contained to my scalp. So pretty much my whole scalp right now is just psoriasis and it is so annoying and so I need to go do a treatment on it. I'm gonna go and do that which is probably gonna take like an hour and a half. Do a little bit of study and then we'll um we'll reconvene afterwards. G'day folks. My hair is clean, my scalp has had its treatment. It's gonna need another one though, it's so bad. I actually have a ball patch on my head up here somewhere at the size of like my thumbnail because um some skin came out and Put all the hero with it. But I did a bit of study, managed to do a quiz and a module, and now there's a plane flying over and dad's mowing the lawns. I'm now editing a New Year's vlog because I want to post this on Monday. I keep feeling the bottom of my laptop because it's really like, ooh, that's gross. It's got like moisturizer caked onto it. You can literally see where I sit with it on my lap because it's got a line there and a line there. Delicious. We're having curry for dinner, but we need some naan breads to go with it. So let's go to the four square and see what we can find. Oh my gosh, my. Well that was uh, wildly unsuccessful so we will be having pompadoms. It's okay. It'll be fine. Alright mum what's for dinner? Um, chicken korma. Out of whose book? Um. <laughs> BJ Cook. You can tell us all the rehearsed. <laughs> it is the BJ Cook summer favourites cookbook that I got for Christmas. And we're doing the chicken korma. I would, I'm assuming you've done some adaptions to it. Garlic adaptions. Yeah, to take up the garlic and onion. It smells like the filling of the Oliver's butter chicken pie. You fellas must be hungry. There wasn't much there. <laughs> There's not much left either. It is 8... 8.40. It's 8.40. What the heck? Where did today go? It is 8.40pm and I just finished editing and I'm now exporting the New Year's vlog and it turned out so good. I'm so stoked. That vlog was over like five days four days five days and i find like the longer the duration of the vlog in terms of like actual days the messier it gets because there's so many clips and you're trying to fit it all together and you're also trying to keep it like nice and concise so it's coming at just under 18 minutes which i started with like an hour and a half of the footage so that's a pretty solid effort i need to upload it though and send it over to the girls like imogen and morgan and tasia so they can watch it before i actually put it out to you guys just to make sure that they're happy with everything that's in it. I'm so stoked. Like, I feel like it just perfectly encapsulates our time away and like a Kiwi summer. So good. But I am thinking I'm gonna go, I saw there were some trumpets in the freezer, so I'm thinking I might just go and help myself to one of those. Wake up in the morning with the sunlight in my eyes. It's got my name written all over it. It's 
hot. Good morning, guys. I have just finished up at church. That was my first church service, not only in three weeks, but my first church service of 2024, because I've been away and stuff. And it was a little bit different to normal. Obviously, normally when you come to church, they have praise and worship, they have a message. It's like a pretty, like, you know what to expect. For January, they're doing, like, because I go to Life Church, they're calling it Life at the Movies. And it's actually ironic, because my church uh, used to be the old Monaco movie theatre. Like I remember coming here to watch Madagascar as a kid. They had like little snippets of the last Indiana Jones movie and like relating it back to like biblical principles, which is so interesting. So that's what they're doing for the month of January. Uh, next week they're doing Top Gun, which that's going to be really interesting. We have made it home. Well, I have made it home. That was a solo effort. But now we're going into town because we need to go visit my auntie, spray my nana's weeds, and get some stuff from the supermarket for dinner. We're at my nana's and dad's just finished spraying the weeds. Mum and I went to the supermarket and got some stuff while he was doing that. But we realized at the supermarket it's like two o'clock and we haven't had lunch yet. So we got some almond croissants. Last night we had a VJ Cook's dinner. Tonight we're also having a VJ Cook's dinner. Her recipes are just so good. And the recipe we're having tonight is actually, I don't know if it still is up on her website, but it used to be on her website when I was flatting. And I made this recipe like probably like three times when we were flatting and it's, meatballs and gnocchi with like mozzarella cheese and it's just so good and so easy to make so I said to mum we need to have that for dinner because we have mints that needs using. Welcome home. It's three o'clock and lunch has been consumed and I need to go and make some moves on cleaning my car. I think Matt and Sage are going to be out here shortly and Sage is going to clean her car but I need to vacuum my car. I haven't vacuumed it since I went to the beach. My brother had my car. He said that he cleaned like tried to clean the, like, the inside for me because they put heaps of sand through it even though I put heaps of sand through it when I used it too so I don't think it's as bad as it was when I left it with him. I might just uh, chuck on some tunes to mentally get me through this. I have the song Homesick by Noah Khan stuck in my head. Oh it's hot in here. Okay that's actually not too bad like there's obviously like there's quite a bit of sand. It's honestly not that bad. Matt did a pretty good job of cleaning. I have carpet floor mats in my car and before going to the beach they like the carpet detaches from the rubber and you can just have rubber floor mats. And so I took the carpet out because I knew that if the carpet got sand in it, it would be in there forever. So it's just got the rubber floor mats in there, which is going to make it easier to clean. I think I'll put the carpet back in now. car is clean and dinner is ready. This is Dad's meatball sub. We took the meatballs out of our gnocchi because he can't have the gnocchi and put it into a little subway thing for him. This is our meatballs and gnocchi and a whole lot of steam. Come and get some, guys. <laughs> I also made some afghans this afternoon. Beautiful. Oh, that sun is... Right in the wrong spot. I'm just in the process of planning out my week ahead. I've had this exact same planner, not the obviously exact same book, but the same style for the past. This is my fourth year with it. And it's great. Has so much like space to like, write things in and stuff. But in previous years, I haven't really maximized all that it has to offer. So I'm trying to like fill out everything. I'm so excited. It sort of happened by the time you guys see this video. But I'm going to Tauranga or to Papa Moore next weekend with my church girls there's 11 of us going we rent out this like huge airbnb and it's gonna be so much fun but anyway my week is planned it is 8 p.m and i in order to get up at quarter past five i need to go to bed at around nine o'clock i just so wish that tomorrow i didn't have work <laughs> i need to go and get myself ready for bed which is a funny thing to say when the sun is very much still up so you guys will be wow this camera is so large and in charge you guys will be familiar with the lovely big mirror that i've had in my room for like three years not this one though, but I have had to resort to this mirror because my big expensive mirror <laughs> It fell over the other day, something like this, and I went And it hit my bed My bed My soft bed And it smashed I'm so mad at myself for this It's currently sitting in the hallway here Let's see if I can show you Like it's proper, proper smashed There's, there's no coming back from that Sometime during the week, this coming week I'm going to measure it up and call like a glass place And see how much it's going to cost to get a new glass Like a new mirror fitted into it Because to buy a whole new mirror Like that one was like 300 bucks I don't have 300 dollars this is my current little mirror. The, honestly, this one looks so small. Like, this is actually, this is still a big mirror. Like, it's, like, as tall as me. Like, it's still, it's still big. The one that's broken covered that whole section of wall. But, no. Now we've got this one. It is exactly 9 o'clock, and it is time for me to go to bed. Oh, this is gonna be a big week. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a very much on-the-fly vlog. And I feel like a lot of my vlogs recently have been very much on-the-fly. I'd love to be more 
like intentional with my filming and I'm hoping once my PT course wraps up in hopefully March I will be able to get back into more regular uploads. That is the goal, that is the plan, but I need video ideas so if there's anything that you guys want to see literally put your thinking caps on, get creative, let me know in the comments, would love to know. Oh also, 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 we just need to have a chat for a little second. It's not very often that I go into the back end of my YouTube and look at my analytics but I do every now and again and I did last week and found out that 25% like of the people that are like regular viewers of my content, like watching week in, week out, aren't even subscribed to my channel. So if you are someone who like, <laughs> I don't know, do you guys like, do you have to search up my name every time? Just hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. You'll be the first to know when I upload. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made this far in the video, first of all, subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> and comment a video idea down below if you have anything in mind and I will see you in my next video. I don't know why I did finger guns, it is so cringe. <laughs>